So I think by now everyone is pretty much familiar with the law of attraction and how it works and at least heard something about it and I think that I've made videos about it in the past and I just started noticing lately that a lot of people sort of misunderstand how it works and I have a feeling that people just want to believe in magic so that they will just sit there, do nothing, visualize and dream about what they want and then their dream life will just appear in front of them and everything will be as they want without doing anything and I really don't think that it is healthy to believe that because this is not how life works and this is not how anything works. The other extreme that people go to is not believing in them whatsoever so they will overwork themselves, they will do lots of things but they won't believe that they deserve good things and they won't really get enough appreciation and enough results from what they put in because they don't think that they deserve the things that they want and they don't believe that there is enough for everyone uh, in the world. So I think that my understanding of the law of attraction kind of changed recently because I used to be this person too who would just think that it's enough to like sit there and visualize and one day when you're ready for it the universe will just start showering you with stuff uh, which maybe happens for some people but I don't think that this is how it works so bear with me I'm trying to make sense of what I want to say. So in my opinion there are three very important steps that you have to take in order to get somewhere where you want to be. First of all you need to know exactly what you want and you need to really want it and not want it out of desperation or fear. You just need to have a dream or at least a clear vision of something that you really want and also what you want and what you need sometimes are different things and sometimes you can get what you need instead of what you want but i will get to it later then you need to believe that you can get there so you need to really know that if you set a goal and if you really work hard towards it you can get there it is very important because if you don't believe in the outcome of your actions there is just no sense bothering about it you know and the last and very important thing is to work towards your goal like really spend a lot of time a lot of effort on making your dream come true also not out of desperation but because you love it and because you believe in the outcome of your actions so what i think is really important in this sense is understand that brain is sort of a muscle not really but you know figuratively speaking the neurological pathways that are created in our brain are trained and they can be changed and the way that we think actually can be changed throughout our lives it depends greatly on how we grew up and how our parents raised us or how the environment was when we were growing up and how the environment is around us now but we still have control over our brains and it's just basically a matter of habit Choosing your thoughts consciously is very important because you need to keep the hygiene of your thoughts even stronger than you pay attention to the hygiene of your body because it is even more important. I think we are more our minds than our bodies and our bodies actually uh, are affected by our minds. I think that since our brain is a muscle, the law of attraction is basically about building the neurological pathways to achieve what we want. It has been proven many times that, for example, competitive athletes can imagine doing the exercise and their blood and brain were the same as if they exercised really or even their mus muscles would contract. So our brains can create this neurological pathways to something that you don't yet have, but when you will see a familiar situation where you can get to where you want to get or an opportunity that you wouldn't notice otherwise because you are tailoring your brain to pay attention to special things you're tailoring your brain to become better at recognizing the opportunities and the chances that you get there is way more possibility and way more chances that 
you will get where you want to get just because you thought about it so much and because there is already a street in your brain leading straight to your goal so as you see it's not magic quite the opposite it's quite scientific and i think that it's a beautiful way to actually change our lives because if we continuously imagine and study the things that we want we will get more familiar with it and it will be easier for us to get them in real life but what we actually misunderstand i think about it is that it's not about things and even circumstances so in our western culture and i think that nowadays like almost all over the world people concentrate too much on what things should look like i see it a lot in a relationship so it was uh, valentine's day recently and so many people who didn't have dates or didn't have a partner on this day feel so bad about themselves just because it seems like you should have someone or i can give you so many examples it's just the most recent one so what i'm trying to say is that it doesn't matter what your life looks like as long as you're happy everybody has a very different definition of success and don't let other people and the surroundings and the media dictate what the happiness should look like for you because it will be different and for every person it's different we all have different values and different dreams and so you should strive more not over the what it should look like but more towards what you should feel like in the end so we want to be happy everybody wants to be happy but we misunderstand it i said it already a couple of times consumerism substitutes pleasure with happiness so we think that we are chasing happiness while we are actually chasing pleasure which results in addiction and not in happiness and we become even more miserable after that so it's not about the new car or the new clothes it's more about how you want to feel and you should visualize that and you should already train yourself to feel this way even without the circumstances that you think will bring you this happiness because then you first of all it won't even matter for you like what the circumstances are and what you have because you will already have what you want inside of you and this is really all that matters what is inside here and inside here and you will train your brain for happiness because so many of us are scared of it or think that we don't deserve it but if you continuously practice positive thinking visualizing good things meditating being aware of what you feel right now and what you need and what you need to feel better or to keep feeling good if you're already feeling good so you just need to familiarize yourself with your own brain and teach it how to be happy one of my friends sent me a wonderful cartoon that is actually very grim but it just depicts our life so well i will link it down below and please go and check it out it's just three minutes or so but it is amazing it's like one of the best things that i've seen lately so the next thing i wanted to mention is self-talk it is so very important we are influenced by what we say the words we say actually shape our mentality and our lives so really pay attention you're talking to yourself most of the time your mind is never silent you're always chattering inside your brain and most of the time i promise you the thoughts are negative stop yourself every time you notice yourself thinking about it like be mindful of what happens in your head mindfulness is not about not having thoughts or being in control of all of your thoughts but it's more about being aware of what is going on inside your head and being able to change it our choice of words really trains our brain to believe this or that so it is very important and do not use negative words when you speak about yourself and when you speak about others as well because what you focus your attention on is where the energy will flow your energy will flow so if you focus more on the negative things you will get more negative things in your life just because this is what you're training your brain to see and if you are focusing on the positive things and just ignoring the negative like as long as it doesn't harm anyone then it is much better for your sanity and for your mental health and for your general well-being so 
just pay attention on what you talk about, what choice of words do you have and what kind of adjectives and words in general do you use because this is so extremely important. To sum it up, you first of all need to really focus on the feeling that you want to feel and on the state of mind that you want to be and not the details and the image of what you want to see because this is so unimportant, really, trust me, what your life looks like is just an illusion. You need to cultivate the feeling of happiness inside yourself, no matter the circumstances. Visualize the feeling and visualize how you will get there. And you will already feel it in the present moment and it will not matter anymore. You will just train your brain to be happy and be where you want it to be. If you want something out of fear or desperation, most likely you will not get it. Or if you will get it, you will not be happy with it. As an example, I can tell you that one year ago, the thing that I wanted the most, I would sacrifice so much to be in the United States and get a job there and stay there. And I was ready to take the weirdest jobs and to live in the weirdest places because I just wanted to stay there with my ex-boyfriend. And now I look back just a year ago, I am thinking, how grateful I am that this didn't freaking happen. I'm so grateful that I didn't stay there. I'm so grateful that I chose to move on with my life and follow what didn't seem to be what I wanted back then. But now I realize that it was so right and what didn't happen that I wished for. Like you cannot imagine how many hours I spent visualizing that, but it didn't happen and it's the best thing ever. I'm so happy and I'm so grateful that it didn't happen because now I feel so much better than I would and I feel like I'm in the right place. I feel that I am where I need to be. So if something doesn't happen, probably you were either not ready for it or you wanted it out of fear and desperation like me a year ago. I just was desperate and I was very scared and I wanted something that I didn't really need and now i understand it in hindsight but back then i was very desperate and very fearful also uh connected to the little story i told you before your wishes and your dreams should only concern you so you cannot dream for other people your dreams shouldn't involve other people so for example if you are in a relationship that is not satisfying you don't wish for the other person to change because this will never happen you cannot change other people you cannot help other people if they are not willing to help themselves you cannot plan for other people you should only concentrate on the feeling that you want to feel and if the person matches this feeling if the person matches where you need to be in your life they will stay in your life and they will be there if the person doesn't match the picture, the feeling that you want to feel and where you want to go, they will kind of fall out of your life or you will drift away from them. And it is a beautiful thing because we meet new people all the time and we attract the people that match our mindset and situation now and be grateful for everything that happens to you. It's also very important. Gratitude is the best thing that you can do for yourself because if you are not grateful for what you have now uh, most likely you will not have much more in the future so actually this video became way longer than i thought it would be i hope that you can resonate with some of my thoughts and maybe you can also share some of yours uh do you use the law of attraction do you believe in it do you do something to achieve your goals and where you stand on this just share your thoughts because i really love your input and love to hear back from you thanks for watching you guys i wish you a very nice weekend and beginning of the week i have something very exciting coming up in my life very soon in just one week i will tell more about it in the future so yeah uh, see you and be nice humans. Bye.